In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a mega menu using Elementor. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to your dashboard. So here I'm going to the dashboard of my website and under the plugins, you need to have the Elementor Pro in order for this mega menu to work. So ensure that you have an Elementor Pro here. Once you will activate the Elementor Pro, next what you can do is to hover over where it says Elementor and click on setting. Then from here, click on features and then scroll down until you will see this option menu we are using we are using this feature in order to create our mega menu it should be on default you can click on activate and then you can activate it from here once you will activate that it will also ask you that you require the flexbox containers and the nested elements in order for this feature to work so here you can see i have nested elements already active and this one is actually in beta and the menu the mega menu feature is in alpha right now there might be some glitches so you need to be aware of that thing and the uh, flexbox containers are already working completely fine so we are good at that part so once you will activate that we can actually start creating our header so for that i'm going to the front end of the website and here this menu that you are seeing here is actually created using elementor so i can hover over this edit with elementor and then I can click on home header and once I will click that here you can see Elementor page builder has started loading. There is another way around and for that you need to go to the dashboard and then you can hover over to this template and then you can click on this theme builder. And once you will click on theme builder you will find yourself at this place. Then you will have to click on this header and there you can click on add new and you will be able to edit your header. But right now you can see I am showing my header right here. So we can actually start editing our header right there. So if I search for menu here, here you can see by default you get WordPress menu. That is actually how you can create this menu. But for now we are interested in this menu widget that we have just activated. We are going to use this menu widget in order to create our mega menu. So I'll drop this menu widget here. And now here you can see there is our mega menu widget. Now what I actually want to do in my navigator, I want to drop it right below this social icon so that we'll have a different uh, row for this mega menu. Now in the left side panel, you can see it says edit menu. So that indicates we are in the right widget. So here you have the option to choose the labels for your menu item. So let's just add some labels for the menu items for the first item. I can call it home and then for the second menu item I can call it about us and then under the third menu item I can call it mega menu so this is what we are going to use for the mega menu so right now you can see there is nothing special here we only have three elements there uh, that are indicating the page labels or the page titles and here where the magic happens so here you can see this option where it says drop down content if you will toggle this on now you can see we have this tiny arrow showing right here and you can also change the icon right here if you will search for arrow here you can choose any of these arrows that are showing right there and you can also upload your own icons if you want so i'll choose this chevron from here and here you can see this is where it is showing and for the active i can change that as well but i think i'm gonna remove that and i'm going to keep what we actually have here all right now if i hover over and if i click this here here you can see if we have some container here but you you might not be able to see it but we have a container here now if we go to the style tab right here and there it says um, menu items and there it says drop down menu so under the drop downs menu if i change the background colors to something else should be able to see the color if this is what you are thinking then my friend you are wrong here this is not how this works so here in the navigator you can see we have this menu here but under that we have these three items and under the third item i have this container right here which is actually empty but if i hover over this you can see we have this container so you'll have to click on this container and, and in here you can change the color I can change the color to this color and here you can see we have a custom colors apply here. All right. So now we have a custom color apply here. We can go back to the layout option here. And if we'll choose this menu again here, you can see we have settings for the icon. 
and here we have the settings for the menu toggle and here for the settings for the drop down menu and here are some of the settings for the content so you have the control over whatever you want to display here and if we go to the style tab here you can see we have some settings for the drop down effect so under the drop down effect for now it is open on hover and animation none you can change the animation to fade in that is when you click here now you can see the background is actually fading in so for the menu toggle you can decide a menu toggle here you can uh, play around with this thing and then under the additional settings you have this horizontal scroll disable and the breakpoints disable as well and then there are some additional thing i'll walk you through on these things in just a moment the only thing that you want to uh, look at it is content width and the item layout item layout is actually the container direction so it can be horizontal or it can be drop down any way that you want by drop down you can see now it is a drop down menu and if you will choose the horizontal it is going to be a horizontal menu and here where it says full width and fit to content it will fit based on the content we don't have any content here that is why it is behaving like this but if you will choose full width it is going to contain the full width that you will have available all right let's just start inserting a few containers inside it so i'll insert a container right here and let's just drop an icon list widget here so i'll drop icon list inside of this and then you can change the icon so let's just change it to dot or actually circle i'll choose this circle so that we can use this circle as uh, the bullet point or give it a bullet effect I'll change the color and here you can see now we have a different color and this is how you can make it a bullet and then under the list you can add the space between these elements and then you can go to the text effect right here and then you can add your own typography right here so if I'll choose a Montserrat font here I can change the size 15 16 17 18 pixels any ways you want all right now if I duplicate this thing here now you can see everything is checking as columns here so if i will click on this parent container or the container that we have for this menu item here i can decide the direction so if you want everything to be aligned in horizontal direction you can choose this horizontal and then your mega menu will be aligned in horizontal direction now here is another thing if i go to the menu here and this time if i'll choose fit to content you can see now it is fitting to the con but you will see some glitches here because right now this feature is in alpha so you might see a few glitches here but let me just refresh and see how it will behave once we will refresh this so the elementor page builder is reloaded now and if i click here now you can see this is containing the content width and if we'll change it to full width now it is checking the full width so it is completely up to you however you want to stylize these things that is completely your choice if you want to add an image there you can simply insert an image let's just insert an image right here it is actually outside the container we actually need to insert inside the container so i'll just delete it select the container and then i can add an image here and here you can see now we have the image now you can further stylize this thing so let's just change this background color to some other colors probably a dark color and then we can also change the colors for these menu items so let me just change the color here i'll choose this color and i'll copy this and then i can paste the same style here and then there is our image so for the image you can upload your own image so i'll just um, use one of the images that i already have in my media library yeah this uh, this image might work so i'll click on select but this image is very small so let's just use some other images yeah so now we have this image appearing right here then you can also adjust the sizes of these containers any ways that you want just like this and then you can adjust the width of your images if you want to set the alignments you can choose this parent container then you can go to this layout tab and from here you can align everything in center if you want to add some titles you can add the title at the top here can be easy navigations and then you can change your fonts here on set i'll change the color and then i also want to change the font size as well let's just increase the width and then i'll copy this and i'll paste this right here so i want to open the navigator so that we can have this 
adding at the top of this icon list right here all right so this is how actually you can create this mega menu using elementor there are some glitches it is not um, it is not advised to use this feature on the live websites just now until these features will become available in here so where it says menu if this feature will become a stable feature then you will be able to use this feature on the live websites but currently it is in alpha it will go in the beta and then it will become available and then it will start showing in the stable features maybe in the future when you will view this video this feature might be in the stable features then you will be able to use these features on your live web i hope that you have learned how you can create this mega menu using elementor again there are some glitches so here you can see we have the glitch here and if you will refresh this it will just work fine so now if i look at it you can see now it is looking just so in this way you can create the mega menu i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video